Hey guys, it's me, Derek, and this is the first video that I've made in a long time, um, especially in regards to video games. I think the last video I've made was maybe a couple months ago, um, and it was something silly. I usually have these small updates talking about my depression, but I want to do something different because I want to start making video content again, and I figured let's talk about The Last of Us 2 since it's still fresh on my mind. Um... I, I still have a lot of problems with my depression and anxiety, especially this past week. Uh, it's been really terrible. But uh, I'm trying to get myself back into video games because uh, my depression has caused me to not play as many video games as I want to and making me not enjoy things that I usually love. And uh, since... I'm depressed, I decided to play through a depressing game like The Last of Us Part 2. Uh, I just finished it. It took me 22 hours to complete it. Um, and for the most part, I liked it. Do I like it better than the original? Nope. Nope, nope, not a no, 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 not at all. And this is where we're going to get into spoilers. Because... Yeah, I, I had some problems with the game. And I and I don't want to shit on it. And I don't want it to I don't want to seem um really harsh about the game. I want to be honest with you. Uh if you like the original Last of Us, you may enjoy this game. I, I enjoyed it um as a Last of Us game. It, it was okay. Um some sometimes you just can't get sequels right. I didn't think The Last of Us deserved a sequel because the first one was perfect. It ended right where it needed to be. There, there's no need for a sequel. But they decided to make one anyways. And this one is more of a revenge tell than anything. The last one was a basically a long trek across the United States. Um, and it, it was between these two characters and you've grown to love. Um, and this one, you just, I don't know why. I didn't care about any of the characters this time around. I didn't care about Ellie. I didn't care about this other character. We want to talk about her for a second. But first, did you guys like Joel in The Last of Us? Did you guys like playing as Joel in The Last of Us? That's good for you because you get to play as Joel in this game for maybe 10 minutes. Out of 22 hours, you get to play as Joel for maybe 10 minutes. And then he gets his head beaten in with a golf club by Abby. Who's Abby? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. She looks like Nathan Explosion from uh, Metalocalypse. And she's very un uninteresting. She's not in interesting at all. She is the most interesting character to play almost half the game through. You had, That's right. You have to play half the game, almost more than half the game through, as this character. They try to humanize her, but you... I, I didn't... Like, I, I, I just didn't like her. I couldn't connect. And a lot of people probably think the same thing. I, you know, you're controlling a character that literally kills Joel right in front of Ellie. And again, this is spoiler territory. I, I apologize. Um, big time. Um, it's it's kind of fucked up. One. Uh... The main focus of the game, for the most part, at first, is Ellie and her girlfriend, uh, and they're, they're, they're going after Abby in Seattle, and they're chasing, they're trying to, trying to get with uh, Joel's brother, because he's going after her as well. Uh, you're basically taking it, trying to find people that has information about Abby, 
and there's some dark parts where Abby straight up murders these people or tortures them to get this information. Um, Ellie doesn't really have any moments in particular where you care for her, like in the original. Um, all of the whole thing is just, she is all gloom. Um, there's barely any jokes like there was in the original because uh, in the original, not Ellie would crack these jokes. It'd be a little bit of comic relief um, within the game um, just to kind of humanize her. But in this one, it's not really like that. Um, and they throw in all kinds of weird stuff in it for out of nowhere. Um, there's a scene in the game, um, and a lot of people know about this scene. And I don't think people, the people that wrote this game, know how sex works. I don't think they may have never had sex before. Or maybe they did and just had a bad experience. But you don't go in dry, boys. You don't. You, you don't. And you'll see what I mean. Uh, it came out of nowhere. It's between Abby and her sort of love interest named Owen. It took me a moment to think of his name. Um... You won't care for these characters, I'm telling you. Um, there's, you, You'll go through the game as a, uh, Abby, and you'll meet a few characters. And I have a hard time trying to figure out um, what the name of most of them are. I, I, don't, I don't remember hardly any of them. And I just finished the game just three hours ago. The only ones I know of is... Um, Owen, and I think it was another one named Nora. But they're, the characters are so, they're not memorable enough to really care about. Um, and the game is missing the heart and soul of what made the original one great. Um, they're too far focused on uh, gender politics in this game um, to even really get the point out. Um, and I hate to be that way, but there, there's a whole quest line uh, that takes up three or four hours of um, trying to save a, a trans character from an island where they're trying to kill this character because they're trans. There's no, no problem with there being a trans character, but the way they do it is they just throw it in your face like what why does it matter if they're trans anyways like you can introduce the character as trans but you don't have to constantly throw it in the face like at that point you're just throwing it at, at everyone you're just like okay this person's not a person they're a trans person that's a person they're not anything special they're a person they're a person that just happens to be trans. What's special about that? You, you're making somebody you're you're making somebody seem way different, and they're they're human. You're making them seem like they're lesser of a person by saying, "Hey, this this person's trans." I, maybe it's just me. Maybe it maybe it's that. Maybe I'm. Not with the age, I guess. Maybe I'm not the person they wrote this game for. The way I see it is... You can have a story with a trans person. You can introduce the person and say, Hey, I happen to be trans. No, okay, cool. That's fine. That's awesome. You don't have to add... You never have to say it again. Same with if you're a straight person. Oh, I'm straight. Okay, that's cool. Never has to say it again. That should be the last thing on your mind. You don't have to make a whole story arc and just constantly be reminded that this person is trans. You don't have to constantly be reminded of the gender politics. Um, and that's what this game does. It constantly reminds you of the gender or any other type of politics that's associated with that. Which it doesn't make sense um, in the long run. 
the story arc for that specific character is a really good story arc. It's just the way the char- they keep on throwing the terminology in your face. And you'll see what I'm talking about. It'd be like this if we had started was watching this video and every five minutes I was I say, hey, by the way, I'm straight. Oh yeah, by the way, um I'm making this video but I'm straight. Do you uh, know I'm straight? Also, I'm a straight male. By the way, I'm a straight male. That would be really annoying. It'd get annoying, and it doesn't make sense in the long run. And I think that's what a lot of people have problems with. It's not the fact that they's, there's a trans character in the game. It's the fact that they keep on pushing pushing it on you, like just keep on saying it and saying it and saying it. And they make the trans characters seem like they're lesser of a person. And I've got my words jumbled up, and I do apologize. Um, I'm not really good with my words, and my depression and my anxiety makes me say really, really bad things with my words. And I apologize. I don't look at, I don't look at people of different color, different genders, different sexual orientations. I don't look them at them any different than me. How I see it, we're all people. We're all the same. But we're all getting treated fucking differently because, you know, some people can't fucking get over uh, themselves. We got these religious nuts that, you know, can't handle... Uh, they can't handle anything. That's not just religious people. It's just people in general. And that's why we have all these riots and shit like that. I'm probably on a tangent right now. I'm just talking out of my head. I just feel really bad right now. Because the game makes these characters feel like less because they are gay or trans. They don't celebrate the characters. They just keep on pushing it in your face. Like, oh, these, this person's gay. This person's trans. Why? Why do you have to keep on reminding me of that? Is that bad because they're gay or trans? And am I supposed to hate them for that? And am I? Am I supposed to hate it for it? Am I supposed to hate them because they're gay or trans? Play the game. Just play the game. You'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It, it won't take long. You'll find out. You'll see how they portray the characters and how often they'll come out out of the blue and do these things. Uh, especially like the things with the sex scene. Um... That was out of the blue. It didn't need to be in the game. It was in the game, but it didn't need to be in the game. And there's a couple things in there. And there, there's a scene near the end of the game where it, I don't think it necessarily needed to be in the game, but it was there. And I don't want to say the word because it's filth. And it involves um I've seen the trailer when they showed it at a press conference and it was called the Kiss. And after that there's this uh, old man that calls Ellie and that character something terrible. Something you don't call somebody in the LGBTQ. You you don't call people that. And they say it and it's out of the blue. It's like, oh, what, why, why is that here? I mean, why, why is that in this game? I don't know. I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping this video isn't terrible. I'm hoping I'm not trying to cause, like, stir anything up. And I'm really nervous right now talking about it. That's why I'm having a hard time getting the words out. I haven't done this in a long time. 
and it's taken a lot for me to actually do this. I just hope uh, you guys enjoy this video. Um, if I had to rate this game, I'd probably give it a 7. 7 out of 10 or something. Um, is it worth playing? Yeah. Yeah, it's worth playing. Is it a good game? Absolutely. It's a great, it's a good game. Is it a great game? No. It's not a great game. The story is all over the place. And the characters, you just don't really care about. Again, and it just comes down to them making the these characters seem less for of what they are. They're not celebrating the fact that they're LGBT. They're man, it makes them seem like they're less because they are. Because they just keep on throwing it in your face. And they constantly have to remind you that hey, they're they're LGBT, that person's trans. Well, I know this. You've told me this several times. Is there a reason you're telling me this? Is it bad because they are? I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm sure if I'm sure I'll hear about it if somebody watches it. I'm sure I'll get some flack on it. I'm not trying to be controversial, and I I love the community. Uh, I have. Um, have nothing against anybody. I'm just trying. I'm trying to get my words out. And but, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, feel free to hit the follow, subscribe, and uh, give me some uh, ideas for what you want to see next. Uh, I definitely appreciate it, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.